What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. GDIY back with another video, man. <laughs> uh, today's video is installing the Chinese aluminum radiator. You hear me? Since that's what we that's what we got, that's what we stuck with. We're gonna install that today and see what's going on. So with that being said, um just gonna show y'all some of the process you know what i'm saying hopefully some of y'all know how to install a radiator some of y'all might not but this is what we doing man so let me show you what i got going on all right so yeah got my light set up so i can try to show you guys what's going on this is the old um radiator i had it's a small replacement aluminum and plastic radiator it ain't really hitting on there I got two uh, dual fans on there. It's, it's kind of dark. I don't know why. But anyway, it's kind of dark. Got two dual uh, radiator fans from uh, Concord, an old, uh, older Concord. So um, I'm going to remove all of this and install the new Chinese aluminum radiator. But first, I got to drain my radiator so I got a bucket down now so we just gonna start with that but y'all guys hold on for one second all right so yeah we back uh removed the radiator uh still draining down there got coolant draining out the block you see the color of that coolant uh it's been sitting a little bit I don't have orange coolant in mind I have uh like the green but anyway we are looking good so far so far so good man um like i say i gotta uh fix this connection right here on my own um, i gotta open it back up i gotta splice it for the new fan see how i'm gonna hook that up and um solder that you know but otherwise everything looking good man yeah six oh uh like i said that coolant man I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, we're gonna see. But we looking good, man. I'm gonna cut y'all off and cut y'all back on in a minute. Let me um get a little more scissor with it. Cut you back on. All right, so yeah, it's been a minute. Um, YouTube, we back. I had to run to the store with my wife, all kind of crap. But anyway, this is where we at right now. Um, I actually got the radiator back in I gotta um wire the fans up and fill it with coolant uh also another thing I put the um down in here is where the thermostat goes you know my finger pointing at it's a little thermostat right there anybody know about LS engines this is thermostat housing thermostat goes in there I put a 160 in there so that should help it cool down I took my um, loom off of my my wires I got here for the fan. I had it wired to the old electric fan right here. This is the old setup. So I'm gonna snip these two lines. I already got my, I got relays set up, two relays for two fans. You guys look up um, the fan relays. If you wanna double relay them, that's what I got. Uh, so I'm gonna cut these guys the yellow is the low i mean yellow is the high and green is the low for both fans so yellow is one fan and green is both um once i do that you know what i'm saying i fill it up and we should be good once i do that i fill it fill it up with um i'm gonna flush it so i'm gonna fill it up with the uh the radiator flush so I fill it up through these holes, water, all water, in the radiator flush, and I'm gonna try to flush the whole system out. Uh, it won't be on this video, but I'm gonna flush the whole system out, and then I'll fill it up with coolant, and we'll be done. But let me go ahead and wire these um, fans up, and I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a sec. All right, so yeah, you two, we are back. As I said, we got the radiator put together it's on here um i did some wiring this is how my wires look a little loose i um i 
what you call that. Made some little stuff here. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you guys. Okay, boom. Made some little stuff here. Um, heat streak, heat shrink, and made a little connection so I can be able to pull it apart. That's with both sides, just in case. Uh, your one and two fans did the same for the negative, and then I had just jumped off of that one negative with the other one. That's the fan. I just took it loose my back. And it's going to both fans. I tested the fans already. Uh, let me see if I can get y'all. I tested them. I tested them one a piece. Let me see if I can at least let y'all hear one. You know what I'm saying? Do one, let y'all hear one right quick. So all you really do is when you um doing this fan, you know, uh, I just got a negative, got the negative hooked up already right i just had a negative hooked up and once the negative hooked up i got me a little jumper wire and i pretty much i pretty much just jump it off jump it off have them touching like that and touch the battery That's your fan. That's just one, you know what I'm saying? I got two fans, but it seems like it blow, seems like it blow pretty good air. You know what I'm saying? Seems like it blow pretty good air, so. So my fans, that's how they look. Uh, I'm gonna just hook up the holes, like I said, and pour the uh, coolant flush in, and then that'll uh, pretty much be it. You know what I'm saying? So. If you guys got, you know what I'm saying, any problems with hooking up your fans, you got to go to Y school, you hear me? You got to go to Y school. I uh, learned that from Wire school. When I say Y school, I mean <laughs> going to do your research, go on your forums, man. Uh, uh, whatever forums you in, go on your forums, ask questions about your electrical, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you got questions, I can help you, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. But you pretty much want to learn your wiring. I learned that uh, on my own, you know what I'm saying, and doing my research, so I had to go All right, so this is the temporary setup. See, I got my loom on there a little bit. See my loom on there. I got it temporarily zip tied until I put the, um, get the little angles to hold them down, hold up, down. I got the holes held down for a little bit, but everything is up, you know, it got, uh, coolant flush in it, steam port hooked up, everything pretty much good, man. And all that's left is just crank it up and I'm gonna flush the system. And you know, we'll go from there, but anyway, it's your boy, Mr. GDIY, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes them shots get backed up and you don't know where to start. You gotta do it yourself. Ha <laughs> ha, let's get it. We out, man.